I'm back with a match review. I haven't done one of these in months and, well, weeks. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure why, but I thought I would because, uh, yeah, I'd be getting ridiculous amounts of hate on Twitter for saying that the Paul Pogba challenge wasn't deliberate and therefore, you know, it. well, I, I, just, I just don't think it's a red. Yeah, call me delusional, call me whatever. I've been called every name under the sun by loads of random knobheads on Twitter anyway, so I'm not really arsed. But yeah, like where else is he supposed to put his fucking boot? Like if I'm lying down in the middle of the pitch trying to prevent something, you know, I get in the way of someone's boot. It, like, come on, man. Like Bellerin slid in, Pogba's got a ridiculously long stride, and yes, he stamped on him, but it, it's not deliberate. Like, fucking hell, football's became a pussy's game, man. Roy Keane and uh, Patrick Vieira would be fucking loving this game. It was Arsenal versus Manchester United of old. And it was just phenomenal. It was end-to-end. -end. Yes, Arsenal had so many more chances in the latter stages uh, when we were down to 10 men, even before that. But we were lethal on the counter-attack. We made every chance count. Whenever we had the ball, particularly in the first half, we looked like we would score. Arsenal, you know, were playing in our final third for most of the game, to be fair. But, you know, we defended resolutely and we didn't park the bus. We were just good defensively and we were lethal on the counter-attack. Hell of a game. Thank fuck we've won it. 3-1 away to Arsenal. The first game that we've won uh, at the Emirates, I think, uh, since Rooney uh, won it three years ago. Like, I think we've only won two of the last five. But regardless of what you think of the Pogba uh, decision, I'm overly annoyed at that because the next game is Manchester City. And... Um, People just love to to jump on the Pogba hit. If you think it's a red, fair dues. Like, you know what? Fairs. If you think it was, um, you know, a deliberate foul, then you're wrong because it, it's just not. If you think it's a red, though, that's debatable. Yeah, fairs. You, you can say it's a red. But if you think it's deliberate, that's what pissed me off because everyone was like, oh, my God, it's the most disgusting challenge ever. No, it isn't. It's just... It's just accidental, it's one of these things. But regardless, Arsenal played uh, like 30 minutes of the game where we were down to 10 men and they couldn't score. So, you know, we, we deserved the win. We took our chances. We were clinical. Uh, Lukaku's probably going to get slated again for not scoring, even though he his hold-up play in this game was the best I've seen in a United shit. He did his job very, very well, allowing Lingard, Martial to drift uh, behind him, same as Pogba. Up until the red card, Pogba played phenomenally. Uh, you know, like the, the third goal that we scored was just unreal strength against Koscielny uh, and the ball was played in for an easy tap in for Lingard. That's three goals in two games for Lingard. Absolutely madness. But uh, yeah, like Koscielny should have, like especially if Pogba's been sent off, Koscielny should have got a red uh, last man and Arsenal should have had a penalty. You could see it instantly. It was, it was kind of a blatant penalty on Welbeck, but uh, that would have made it 3-2 anyway. Yes, it, it would have made it maybe more nervy, but even so, Arsenal were you know, attacking right till the end anyway, so I don't think it would have made too much of a difference. It would have scored, made it 3-2, probably would have finished there. But uh, yeah, so that's Pogba, whatever, forget that. But Koscielny, the red card, uh, should have been a red card, and Arsenal should have had a penalty, so you know even decisions there up until about well the Pogba red card the the ref got everything right as well he just had a shambles in the last 20 30 minutes but the game was ferocious like best game of the season to watch as a neutral like it was just there was an incident happening every couple of minutes like so much for boring boring Mourinho um I think we've now scored 35 goals we're second in the league five points behind City They've got David Moyes' West Ham tomorrow, so I don't expect them to lose any points uh, for the derby. I was ridiculously confident for the derby, but now that Pogba's out for it, we're, we're going to have to dig in. Like, he's our best player um, alongside David De Gea, who made some remarkable saves. Like, you, you just look at his best saves, like a compilation of them, and he's just he's out of this world. Like, he's not even human. Like That double save he made... From, uh, it was at Lacazette and Sanchez, I think. Like, it was just unbelievable. But yeah, um, really early on in the game, uh, obviously we, we started lightning quick and it, it was just a beautiful, uh, well-worked goal. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, I think it's Lukaku knocks it into Valencia and uh, he manages to finish it off. And then shortly after, Lingard gets his first. It's beautiful play. Lukaku in the Marcia with a lovely deft touch. Lingard finishes it. It's 2-0. And... Um, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. Arsenal have a few chances. 
uh, quite a few chances, including that double save from David De Gea. But eventually the breakthrough, a lovely run from Ramsey. And uh, whether he meant the pass or whether he didn't, it's a phenomenal uh, pass to uh, Lacazette to um, power it in to make it 2-1. Uh, we also hit the post with uh, a remarkable save from Petr Cech from Lingard again, who's just been phenomenal in that number 10 role. He's been far better than Henrik Mkhitaryan or Han Mata of late, so he deserves to start, uh, especially in the derby as well. He's been brilliant recently. Uh, but yeah, and then Martial, the follow-up's blocked by, I think it's Koscielny. Honestly, there's so much to formulate, and that Pogba red card obviously drove most of it from my mind, so I'm just uh, trying to remember. But then the third goal, it's well worked again. I've already went through a Pogba, uh, brilliant against Koscielny, taps it, it, it like, across the box for uh, Lingard to make it 3-1. But yeah, I'm going to get hate in the comments in this video, and to be honest, I, I, I don't really care. If you hate on the internet, fuck you. I, honestly, like, you know, it, it's... It's just, it, it's pretty sad, like, to be fair, if you, if that's all you're going to do, uh, hate, uh, put, you know, slander in the comments or whatever, for someone having an opinion, you don't agree with me, fine, uh, but I've won, uh, my team's won, so, you know, you, you want to, <laughs> you want to get pissed off at that, how about that, you know, Man United back to winning, yes, we're not top of the league yet, but we've, uh, you know, we've performed very well recently, and I'm confident even without Pogba, I, I am confident against City. Not as confident as I would have been if uh, Pogba was there. But City have looked not fragile because they've still looked really, really good in their last two games. But they've narrowly won them late on. And that the beliefs kind of push them. They, they believe they can win. Like That Sterling goal was was absolutely phenomenal. Like To try that in the last kick of the game, fair play. And he won his side three points, unfortunately for us. So they're obviously on a ridiculous high. They've started the Premier League better than any other side so far. Um, so it's going to be a hell of a game. If this one's anything to go off, um, off, 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 yeah, that's the right thing. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game even without uh, Paul Pogba on the side. So we'll see what happens for that one. But uh, yeah, 3-1 win to Arsenal on top of the 4-2 against Watford. Two phenomenal displays away from home. Come on. Come on, let's beat Man City.